der Hedochrist. Glauben leben in einer säkulären Jugendkultur. Okay, welcome to another episode of my podcast about living faith in secular culture. Today I'm in Colombia with my friends from Study Luz, Sandra, Elisa and Priyan. And uh, I just um, want to ask them a little bit uh, <laughs> what they do and stuff, because <laughs> yeah, the uh, the the uh, little uh, sister of Eddie is also here, as you hear. <laughs> and, um, I met them last year on a tour in Germany, where we went to the streets and did some evangelism. Oh, already <laughs> two years ago, actually. And um, so, and, and now I'm visiting them in Colombia. And so, uh, maybe to start with. Uh, a little bit, maybe tell a little bit about yourself, where maybe also about your church background, where you came from, or yeah. Santa, would you like to start with something about yourself? Okay, my name, hello everybody. <laughs> my name is Sandra, um, I am a director of Salerius Ministries or Dance Company. And um, okay, we are from Colombia and um, our ministry uh, born 23 years ago and we are interdenomin interdenominational <laughs> ministry yeah we are of uh, different churches in, in Bogota so uh, what what do you mainly uh, do for your ministry like mm. what is the main focus on your ministry or okay. what do you do and our focus is the evangelism Mm -hmm. um, our call is to go and evangelism people uh, in Colombia and around the world, particularly uh, secular, secular culture and Muslim people. Mm -hmm. And you're using like different kinds of art for that. Like, uh, did it? Uh, I think it started with dance, right? And but now you are also implementing other kind of art forms in, in your ministry. Yes, we dance, and now we are um, taco Latin America, and uh, uh, taco is uh, a, a group of artists uh, who made different different kinds of arts, mm -hmm. uh, like. Uh, like uh, theater, uh, dance, music, um, and uh, painters. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe to go to also, uh, we will come back to you for, for some origin of, of uh, Sally Booth, I think, but also I want to go to my other two guests and uh, want to ask you guys, uh, how, how did you join Sally Booth? What, what was your reason for joining or how did you even find out about it? Brian, maybe you can start. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I started in, in Silos, I think, in 2014. But before that, I started to join my cousin. She was from Sally Luz, and I just started to join her to the rehearsals, Sally Luz rehearsals. And then one day, Sandra just told me, Brian, do you want to join us? And I thought, okay, that's right. And then she told me again, do you want to come maybe a little <laughs> later? And I thought, okay, why not? <laughs> and then I started to join just the academy. And I think that Sandra, she, she felt something about God, <laughs> some, something special from God to, mm -hmm. for my life. And then I just started to join Cyprus. Oh, That so was really difficult. Uh, yeah, uh, you uh, you also study dancing now in Colombia. Did you start uh, studying this, uh, studying dancing before you knew Sally Luz, or was it like through Sally Luz that you found out about uh, that your passion is really for dancing and this stuff? Actually, my really passion is really dancing. When I was maybe two, two or three, uh, my mom she walked to me with me around the street and I started to dance with the music and before Sally Luz, no, it, it was I started my dancing in Sally Luz and then I go into the university and now I'm studying dancing and that's it. Oh cool. Uh, Elin, how did you get to know about it? 
So when I was 12, I started in the dance academy. I started with Bali, and after that, like years later, uh, also Sandra told me like uh, she had fell from God, <laughs> like for me to be part of the dance company. So we pray, my parents and me, we pray about it, and we said like yes, we wanted to. I wanted to be part of it, and yeah, it was like five years ago, more or less. So, so you know each other all from the same uh, church or something that uh, that Santa came up to you, or was it like out of uh, uh, just like, like out of an impression that you thought like, oh yeah, I don't know these guys so well, but I think these guys have to be in my team. Or how was it? Uh, yeah. they they were my students in a dance academy. Ah, so yeah. you did a, this is a kind of study loose dance academy for like young people that you just uh, invited them and t t taught them a little bit about dancing and then yes. you, you decided which ones were like yeah. your your team and you said that like, you're yeah, really good at that. Yeah, that's correct. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, maybe um, also took the we didn't talk a lot about the history because I wanted to let you speak a little bit before. <laughs> So uh, can can you maybe explain how did this uh, idea uh, uh, come to you to create something like this dance academy, Sally Loose and stuff? Because like it's it's already some years ago that you had this idea. Okay, um, one day, <laughs> one day, um, God uh, told me or talked to me about a new ministry about something different for him and he gave me uh, some kind of vision mm -hmm. about a dance company with different people, young people uh, from different churches in Bogota and uh, he told me uh, I give you a different ministry, a ministry for uh, to go and uh, to tell the people my my news, mm -hmm. my good news uh, through dance. Okay. How old were you when that, that happened? What? How old were you when that happened? Like? Uh, it was in 1993. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 25 I, years I, ago, 26 years ago, yeah. Yeah, I was seven. <laughs> yes. Oh. I was not born yet. <laughs> yes. And I start, I start with the vision. I start with Dance Academy. And God showed me who, who can, can join to our dance company. It's also uh, what I see you guys doing because I was on tour with you. It's also not not only about dancing. Of course, this is your passion, dancing, and really uh, you you have something that really in your dancing, in the music you choose, in, in how you you do it. You can really feel uh, the presence of God in what you do. But this is not the only thing you do because you always have a really strong focus on like going up to the people and really uh, not just doing a dance but also going to the people praying for them and this is very impressive uh, how maybe this, was this there from the beginning when you started that this was really always a focus or did it come over for over time that you're also reaching out to people that don't know Jesus um, at the very beginning we just dance and maybe Sometimes we talk with people, but uh, uh, year by year, mm -hmm. uh, God, uh, God gave, gave me uh, some directions, some, um, I don't know how to say, some specific way to, to go to the people, and the Holy Spirit talk us, talk us mm -hmm. how how we can go to the people and pray for them and uh, I don't know is our first or most important thing for us is the uh, Holy Spirit guide this is the secret mm -hmm. yeah. for Salinus Holy Spirit yeah. Yeah. and maybe um, what always is interesting maybe <coughs> can you think of some 
some specific stories or, or, or uh, people that you met on, on, on your tours because you did so many already and you are there all, all already for some time. Yeah. And uh, can you remember anything that was really that's really deep in your mind where you reached out to people or maybe even people had that maybe even some questions that came when people talked to you about what you're doing like by people that don't know Jesus yeah I think that last year we were in tour and first in Germany and after that we were in Turkey so I remember this is one of the testimonies that has impressed my life and our lives it was in Turkey with um, it was like a show in the evening it was late and uh, there were four women and one of them she started to cry like we started to paint margarita started to paint we started to dance we did one performance that is called the encounter with the father it's about god's love yeah anything and that god god's love in turkey is so key for their hearts their like for everyone there so God really gave us that and after that there was one woman and she started just to cry after Margarita's painting and after the whole show and she started to cry and one man asked her like hey are you okay and she said like don't interrupt me I just want to see mm -hmm. and yeah after that I, I went to talk to her and she she started to tell me yeah this is like what I needed yeah I felt Jesus love through this and also we gave her a bible yeah and also three women went to went to sandra and they started just to kiss her and kiss her and kiss her and say i mean like this is life like you have like spread life into our life so it was like really got there so and it's amusing country so it's very challenging to preach about jesus there But he led us to do it, and he really did amazing things. And I think that is one of the most wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> for me, yeah. Uh, I think we were in the first tour, and we were, I don't remember the city, we were in Germany, and we already finished the, the show, and there was an African guy, and we were praying for the day and something like that. And God just told me, go to talk to them, to him. And I was, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> and I didn't have enough money. I, I think, no, I didn't have enough money. And I just went to him and I started to talk. And God just gave me something special. And I thought I need to give him money, kind of offering. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought, I went to my back and I took five euros and then I come back to came back to to him and God just told me it's not enough you have to take <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> and I went one more time and I took just 10 euros and I come back to him and God told me it's not enough you have to <laughs> you have to give a little bit more and I didn't have shoes I had my pants kind of broke and I didn't have my back so well <laughs> and, and then I went to my back again and I took 15 euros and I thought this is really crazy I don't have enough money but if God wants me to do that I just and I give him the money and he started to cry and he told me I don't have money I didn't take my breakfast I, I don't have mm, nothing here in Germany and you really bless my life and I thought okay I'm crazy but God is good all the time <laughs> and I think that maybe four or three days later my mom she, she just called me she told me hey, some people from here Colombia they gave me money for you and I have some money for you to to Germany well, that's that's really It's always good to trust God. <laughs> always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, maybe al already a good uh, uh, thing that you shared uh, because it would be also interesting to know what maybe is this, the biggest challenges you had in, in, in the time you are with Sally Lewis or you're evangelizing maybe also over all the years 
probably there are sometimes challenges coming up and, and uh, what, what can you maybe remember of really great challenges that you had and how you maybe overcame them? Well, for us, the great challenges go to Europe. Yeah, because here in Colombia we don't have a lot of money. That is, it's crazy to think go there. And uh, God, God provides everything. Everything is awesome. Uh, uh, was a, a great challenge because we need uh, uh, to apply our faith mm -hmm. in in that in that uh, okay in that. Um, in that word. In, in that challenge? In that. Yeah, in that challenge. You you learn in the church that you have, uh, you must have uh, faith in God, you, you have trust in God, but when the moment is, is here, is in that moment, is it real, is, uh, is uh, I don't know, uh, when, the, when the moment is in, in that moment, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to to you have to go ahead. Yeah, you have to take steps, right? It's like yeah. it's not that easy, like just saying, "Oh, God provides." It's yeah. okay if you don't have the money. <laughs> With fear, yeah. but you have to to do oh, to to step to take the step yeah. to take the step. Take the step yeah. Yes, yes, it was very very. Um, Fear, I don't know, very scary. scary for me. Scary, yeah. Yeah, it was very scary for me. But God is, is, uh, is faithful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people of different countries start to send us offerings, offerings, and we can pay it all the cost. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah, it was great. God is faithful. Did you have some special, uh, maybe also, uh, the, the money issue is always the thing I know that as a former missionary, yeah. but it's always something God provides, but did you have maybe some also other challenges in like maybe even in approaching people or like in mindsets, maybe even if you were in Europe, like the mindsets that you had to really uh, kind of fight with when you talk to people or maybe even for yourself that things are different in different countries or something like this, did you have something like this on your course? Yeah, I think that when you are in front of like different cultures, you have to, something that we did last tour mm -hmm. and also in 2018 was like, okay, we're, first we pray to God and after that we started to study the culture. So it's a hot climate culture, a cold climate culture. And after that, like, okay, God, what like, what do you want us to show to these people? Yeah, to our arts. So I think that is a big challenge because you, you can go to Germany and Germans are so different from Turkish people. Mm -hmm. So you have to, God wants to, to show them their love in different ways. So I think that is always a challenge, yeah, to, to pray to God and to let the Holy Spirit to lead you in different cultures. Yeah, it's like you have to have your eyes wide open, your ears, like your spiritual ears, like wide open to hear from Him and to say, okay, for this culture, God wants us to do this piece, this performance, and wants us to say this to the people, but for the other one, it's different because God is like, and I think it's always a challenge. And it's like, if I, tell about myself is like I'm always nervous like okay God what do you want me to say yeah, yeah. and it's like to ask a word from from him or word of prophecy or wisdom or something so I think that is one of the challenges I have two challenges the, the first one it was last year when we when, were in Turkey and for me it was really hard uh, when we were dancing after that to hear God go to people and Tell, tell them that I really love them. That's a real, they are, I think, or maybe some, most of the people think we just trust in a different God or they, they don't trust or something like that. And it was really hard for me. There was 
uh, once I was dancing and then just God just told me go to do them and tell him tell them that I love him that I Jesus died for he, for them and for me it was really really crazy I thought I cannot do that <laughs> they they're gonna kill me <laughs> something like that yeah. so it, it really I think that that is a really challenge for me because yeah. in Germany even in Colombia it's really easy to preach about God yeah. but when you are in Muslim country you have to prove your faith <laughs> you have to take a lot of faith stuff is steps <coughs> and also when we are creating some performances I think that God give us the ideas the steps the choreography and everything yeah and it's crazy because we are in Colombia when we are when we are in Germany on a different country God every time he he talked different in a different way mm -hmm. he, he he just give us some words some different words mm -hmm. but every time is really different and every time you have to be open to God's word mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I already saw that you uh, guys in Colombia are more like uh, I, I would say uh, compared to Germans for sure you are more <laughs> spiritual like <laughs> culture so uh, maybe also the question is uh, it's maybe hard to explain but maybe if you can try how how can How do you hear uh, God speaking to you? Like, how is that coming when you when you pray? And <laughs> is that like more like a feeling, or do you hear a voice, or, uh, or is it some different things? Like, how how do you? Because you also make your music, you make your da dances mm -hmm. by, as you said, by the Holy Spirit leading you. How is that coming up? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we put music and just worship it. <laughs> worship him and he start to talk us mm -hmm. so it's more like if you listen and uh, worship then some ideas come to your mind and you write it down or like this yes uh, some visions uh, in uh, i want this song mm -hmm. this is the first step he gave us uh, he gave us the fir the song is the first step And then he started to talk to Brian and Elisa to me about in this part of song I want this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we talk about and uh, we made uh, the choreography. Uh, actually, the Holy Spirit is the choreographer. We just dance for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's really funny, I think that God is really faithful because we, we dance in the streets for evangelism but, but we also dance in the professional atmosphere mm -hmm. kind of thing so we have to be prepared for God's word because uh, sometimes uh, I... I think one song and two months later, God just show us or to, tell us, I want the song that I gave you two months ago and you can use right now. Mm -hmm. And I think we, there was a really funny story when Salilu went to Mexico, they started to practicing and they had really the good performance. And I think maybe one week before that they traveled to Mexico, it was Mexico, God just tell us, you need to change everything. <laughs> And it was really funny because they were like, why? This is really cool. We are preaching. We are talking about you. We are, we are yes. really feeling yes. God's yes. presence. Yes. And, and they, were, they were really, really crazy. Even me, I, I didn't go to Mexico. But, but it was really funny. But just one week, it was enough for performance yes. oh, so you made a totally new performance that you never did before for Mexico in one week yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think that we can prepare a performance in two or three months or even more but we if God is with us we can prepare a performance in one week yeah and even that happens also in the jungle last year we were there just one week and we started to pray and everything and God showed 
first like, like we started to worship him and after mm -hmm. that got showed to Sandra like okay this is the song and she started to have like a whole like vision and image okay you are going to do this and this and it was like and the like we needed to perform at 6 p.m. and God gave us the idea one hour before mm -hmm. so we have like half an hour just for practicing and it was like a whole like it was 10 minutes performing mm -hmm. and it, God gave us like in just half an hour so it's like okay yeah. guys we didn't know who this but okay let's just do it so and really that was for these people in that moment that was exactly thing that we mm -hmm. didn't know god, but god told us because we were willing like to say okay god doesn't matter if we don't know what we are going to do but if you lead us mm -hmm. just we are going to do it and that was the exactly thing mm -hmm. that they needed to see and they needed to yeah. hear it's a prophetic moment yeah mm -hmm. it's a prophetic message that god wants uh, to communicate with people. Uh, I think that you have to to do a balance, yeah. Mm -hmm. To be professional, but be with God. And yeah. if you are close to God, you can hear and you can have the ideas, the perfect ideas. Because I think that sometimes we have a lot of ideas, and really good ones, but God just wants something really different. And you have to be prepared, you have to be dispuesto. So, yeah, with it. Yeah, uh, to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, I already saw some reactions of people, but maybe how, how people are reacting to your show. Like, have you ever experienced people reacting uh, in, in a bad way? Because I see that people always. Uh, Cry. Uh, take it really like that. They really can feel something when you're on the streets. That they really yeah. can feel God in your performances. Uh, how, how, how people? How, how is the feedback of people? Yeah. All the people cry. The people tell us, "Oh, I want to know more about Jesus." Mm -hmm. Like in Turkey, different languages, uh, different everything, but the people understood all the message. And that woman told me, oh, thank you for bringing me the light. Now I can see. Jesus is God. Yeah, Isa is God. Yeah, it was wonderful. That is because it's a, a, a Holy Spirit work. Not, not our work. It's His work. It's, it's, it's awesome. And also, <laughs> also, <laughs> uh, when people start to cry, it's really good because <laughs> you know that God just touched them. Mm -hmm. But the problem sometimes is when you see that people is not reacting, is no, they are not doing nothing, and you have to go to talk them and to start to. To, I don't know how to say you have to you have to be uh, brave yeah. to talk to them yeah. Yeah. and you have to to tell them God is good mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jesus died on the cross for you but when you do that sometimes God just wants you to do that yeah he I think that he always do some things in a different ways mm -hmm. so in, sometimes people just try to cry but sometimes just people is like nothing mm -hmm. but they are always feeling something mm. Mm -hmm. yeah and i think like also adding to that is like so many times has happened to us like you know you did this and i see myself on what you just did it's like how can this be possible we are like this is just god yeah and with the people that maybe they don't have any face expression or something so many times we have found out that they are really touched that mm -hmm. even if they are not crying they are not saying anything but it's like they are really touched and when you go to them and say hey after that they really say really I, I received the message yeah i am not mm -hmm. crying but i received what you wanted to tell me so is is like and also we have had like those negative things but in turkey we experience that the name of jesus is so powerful yeah something's happened something happened exactly mm -hmm. like or some people or the policemen are like what are you doing this is not coming here yeah or, or people crying and, but the name of yes. jesus 
has to do something in every yeah. place. So. Yeah, probably even if you don't see it right away, like if you see some reactions, but there's also sometimes a lot of people that just standing there look like they yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. like at all what you do, but they are maybe the ones that think the most about the message and the yeah, point what you, you share on stage mm -hmm. because you're you're sharing the message pretty clear with your dancing, but you also uh, talk about it like it's not just the dance. It's also that you share directly about Jesus and uh, give testimony about your life, how Jesus changed it and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, do you... Mm -hmm. I, I don't have... I have a little bit more questions, but do you want to add some stuff by yourself that you want to share with people? <laughs> yeah. As Sandra says, <laughs> and I... Uh, you have to do a balance, but you have to know that your focus is to be with your God. And then you are a professional. The, fir the first step and the first thing that you need to know is that you are a child of God. Yeah. And then you are a really professional. Mm -hmm. Once we were in the dance university, and that was like four years ago, and I think that we were not professional dancers, <laughs> and, but we got just took us into dance university, and we were dancing. We do, we did the old performance, and we just finished with the cross and something like that. And then some of the teachers they came to us and they told us they tell yeah they tell us. You are really professional dancers. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you're studying, but you are really professionals. And we thought, oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, of yeah. course. So <laughs> that's really funny. Only Brian is professional. Yeah. Indigenous company. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny. It's really funny. Yeah, because we have here, like he's the only like the the one that is studying dancing, but we have engineers. We have like people that is working with a uh, medicine or something, but we mm -hmm. dance, so we are not professional. But people are like, what? What do you study or what do you do? So it's like just got doing it for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm really sure most of the times when you are in God way, uh, professional people they can feel something different in you. Mm -hmm. So they they. No, or they can notice that you are professional even if you are not studying, dancing or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think also something that we have learned, as Sandra was telling, that when you say in the church many things, you can sing, you can read in the Bible, you can... But when you are living it in real life, it's a different thing. It's like, okay, God, I trust in you. I am your child. You are my provider. You are the one who take me where I don't know where, but you are the one who take me to do your calling, your mission. But when you are in real life living it, it's like, oh, God, you have really to put into practice mm -hmm. what you have just said yeah, many years ago. So that is, and, and with God, it's an adventure that you have just to take the step and he will open the doors. He will. Yes. He is the one that is in charge. We say something that God for God, not money is difficult. Not like uh, countries to open the door in countries to open the doors of like hearts, people of people of churches of many things for him. Nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. You just have to say yes. I will. Yes, I will do it. Yes, I will go. And he's okay. You will. So mm -hmm. come on. Yes. Yeah. He provides. Uh, I think it's the, the song Waymaker in the part that says, even when I don't see you are working, even when I can feel you are working. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, when we were the first time in Germany, God told us, you are going to Germany and we have to trust God. Last year, it happens the same. And God told us last year, next year is going to be a really challenge for you guys. And we thought, okay, okay, we are ready. But now we are in a really challenge, so, <laughs> so yeah. we are yeah. trusting in God. We we, yes. we cannot live by emotions. We need to live by obedience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So <coughs> also kind of uh, the thing that you uh, kind of you can always stop uh, like going further with God. Yeah, you always have to kind of force yourself a little bit to do the like do something do something more. Right, and. 
And that's why I can feel that you guys are doing it. Like you don't stop, you don't say, okay, this is enough. We had a nice time in Germany. Uh, we can write some newsletters. We can maybe ask for donations, but it was okay. But you always try to find new challenges, to find new... Uh, yeah, new level. New levels. Yeah, that, that they're always yeah. like a little bit scary, but this is like little our face. Bit? No, a little bit. Like, a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yes. Yeah. 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 But mm. I think God loves that. Like mm. when you are not okay, this is enough. So, so I think it's like you just have to do it, and mm. and I think he loves it. That it, okay, this is not enough for you, so I will give you more, mm-hmm. and I will give you more, and I will give you more. So I think that he's like yeah, he's so happy, and his heart is like just yes. happy with that. Uh, I think also we have to be really careful with our prayers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. 'Cause> <laughs> Most of the time we say, okay, God, please take us in a new, new levels, give me yes. faith, please, yeah, God. Yeah, give me but faith. I oh, think that please. God all the time is uh, listening, mm-hmm. listening to mm-hmm. what you are saying. So you really have to be careful when you are praying. And also when you start with God's plan, you cannot stop when... Yeah, you can that's wrong, yeah. It's like a little bit addicting even. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we say that. That is like, you, ju- you just want to do it, and do it, and do it. And, and you, you can want stop. To- yeah. yeah. Once you get yeah. out of the ordinary life, you, yes. it's like really hard to go, go back. <laughs> But you have to make the step back. Like yes, yeah. Yes, I say when you are in the mafia, you cannot live. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you start, you go to the end. <laughs> Wise yeah, words from true. Colombia, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a good example, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, um, maybe you already answered that a little bit, but maybe my last question would be, uh, how would you challenge people that maybe are young, that are maybe artists, dancers, that are creative, how would you challenge them to really follow your example? What can they do to really get them to... Uh, like really get get themselves out there to uh, preach the gospel. Yeah, I think like one of our like yeah one thing that we can say is like what is your art? Is painting? Is dancing? Is music? Whatever it is, just do it. Yeah, just like if you can study, do it. Yeah, and if God tells you, okay, this is your art, I will take you to this place. Just do it, yeah? Just trust mm-hmm. him that if he say, you will go, you will say, you will paint, you will dance. For these people with this message, is because he is the one that is in front of you. You are not just doing it by yourself. Like, you are not alone. He's the one that is in front of you, walking ahead of you and guiding you. So just do it. Just take the step. It's not going to be easy, but it's the most amazing thing that you can ever do. So I think that I will say that. Yeah, and uh, I tell you, young people, <laughs> to be brave uh, not means uh, not feel fear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be brave means go ahead. Yeah. Even with the fear, yes. just go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, and come on, guys, you <laughs> can, you can do it. Let's go. Yeah. For me, it's really. <laughs> uh, I I'll say. Now I'm a professional dancer, but I started just in the GAD University. So I think the <laughs> the main thing is if you have something, if you have music dancing, theater, something like that, your first step is not going to university, into your academy, your first step is going to God. And mm-hmm. you have to to pray, you have to seek, you have to seek yeah, yeah. God, God's heart. So, and when you do that, after that, God is going to open new doors for your professional life. So, and also, I would say, you are never too young and never too old to God's purpose. Yeah. So, we, I started dancing in when I was 14, and it's really funny. <laughs> But God can use. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't put limits to God. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes we are the ones like, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not good enough, maybe, no, don't put limits to God. 
Yeah. He is a god without limits, so mm-hmm. don't put it to them. Mm-hmm. And also last thing, <laughs> if, if God gives you something, you, you don't have to, to look for anymore. If mm-hmm. God gives you dancing, you don't have to look for nothing else. You have dancing and that's enough for God. Yeah. Yeah. Your heart and your everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was, uh, that was an awesome talk. It went really, really well. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask much, much questions. Thank yeah. you very much, guys. Thank you, to you. Well, thank you, Simeon. Thank, thank you for coming to Colombia. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, you for like coming to Colombia. Yeah. To have you here. So, and for the for the listeners, if you want to see something those guys are doing, I will add some links to videos when they were performing in Germany and also to their website. It's in Spanish or is it also in English? Yes. <laughs> in Spanish. In Spanish and in English. In English, so you can. Yes. Uh, uh, watch yes. it, but also watch the videos. I will uh, make maybe make a playlist and put the link in the description. And so, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. See, see you. See you in see Germany you. and Europe. Next Easier. summer. Yeah. Well, next summer. So <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.